hello friends welcome to zeta access and today we will discuss about hotspots we will see how hotspots are created and what kind of landforms they create reunion island hotspot and how it created deccan plateau as well as luxadeep and then we will see hawaiian hotspot a hotspot is created by mantle plume which rises from deeper parts of inner mantle and travels through the inner mantle comes to asthenosphere and accumulates below our lithosphere the reason why it accumulates over here is that its density is very higher compared to lithosphere because it comes from deeper parts of our earth now our lithospheric plates are in continuous motion so this mantle plume will be extended in the direction of the movement of overlying plate so if this plate is moving in this direction then we will see that the plume is extended in this direction the plume being highly dense does not come to the surface but it is very hot therefore it is able to melt the rocks over here moreover because this plume tries to come up it forms a bulge over here due to which cracks are formed in the overlying landforms and the mantle plume as well as the molten rocks which form magma they come to the surface through the cracks formed by bulging of the overlying surface and because of this we see volcanic mountains are formed on the surface we also know that the tectonic plates are in continuous motion but because our hot spots are not created by tectonic activities they are stationary so as the plates continue moving we see that a chain of volcanic mountains is created we see that the hot spot is active for several thousands of years it could be 30000 50000 even million years so because it is active it will continue to form volcanic mountains on the surface of overlying tectonic plates but because this tectonic plate is continuously in motion we will see that a chain of volcanic mountains is formed as you can see over here now let's quickly summarize all the points you have discussed so far hot spots are created due to hot plume of magma accumulated in the lithosphere the hot plume comes from deeper parts of the mantle hot spots are not associated with tectonic plates we already know that hot spots are not associated with tectonic activities they can exist much further away from tectonic boundaries so it is not confined to tectonic boundaries or it is not associated with tectonic activities they could be active for several thousands or hundred of thousands of years and they are stationary at one point the magma rises through the lithosphere to reach surface we have seen that the upper lithosphere is melted by the plume because plume is very hot moreover certain cracks develop in the overlying rock structure because of bulging of the rock structure so the magma is able to rise through those cracks the magma is basic in nature we know our mantle is sima in its characteristic therefore the magma that comes from it is also sima in its characteristic and moreover the hot spots are generally formed in weaker zones or under oceanic zone so the magma is basic in nature because the magma does not travel much distance through the continental crust so we see that magma is basic in nature magma erupts without explosion so magma is not viscous therefore it erupts without explosion hot spots remain fixed over one location overlying plates move due to plate tectonic activities we have already seen chain of mountains are created on the overlying earth surface we have already seen that because the hot spots are stationary but the overlying plates continuously move we see that chain of mountains are formed on the surface of our earth deccan plateau and luxadeep were formed from the reunion island hot spot let's see how reunion hot spots created deccan plateau as well as our luxadeep islands now this is the map of our world just after break up of pangaea here we can see that indian subcontinent is attached to african continent australian continent and antarctica madagascar is there in the middle at this time eastern ghats were already formed our eastern ghats are much older than the formation of pangaea moreover we see reunion hotspot over here this is in dormant state currently it is not giving out any magma but over the time due to tectonic activities we see that our indian subcontinent got separated from africa western ghats were formed in this process and then later it got separated from antarctica as well as australia and due to continuation of this process the western ghats were divided into two parts half of the western ghats went away with madagascar while the remaining half remained with 
Indian subcontinent. We see that slowly our Indian subcontinent has moved over the reunion hotspot. Now this reunion hotspot remained dormant until this hotspot reached around the region of Gujarat. As soon as it reaches Gujarat, it will start emitting magma. And this magma was erupted for hundreds of thousands of years. The magma eruptions were deposited on the surface layer by layer. This layer by layer deposition created huge structures or plateau like structures on the surface of our earth, which we call as Deccan traps. So the Deccan traps as well as Deccan plateau is a volcanic plateau and it was formed by reunion hotspot. Moreover, due to tectonic movement, over the years our Indian subcontinent moved away from the hotspot, but the hotspot continued to emit magma. So it started to form islands. Lakshadweep islands were formed, later Maldives was formed, then Chagos island were formed. So we see a series of volcanic islands were formed because of the reunion hotspot. Even Maldives and Mauritius is also formed from reunion hotspot. Now let's see real topographic images of our Indian Ocean. Here we can see that this is the chain of mountains which was created by Reunion Hotspot. This is where the Reunion Hotspot is located. Now by the time what happened that a mid-oceanic ridge was created and the plate over here started to move in other direction. So we see that these mountain chains moved in other direction because the overlying plate moved in other direction. So these chains were also created by the reunion hotspot which is over here. So you can see how Luxdeep, Maldives, Sagos, in fact our this whole chain which includes Maldives as well as reunion islands all of them are created by the reunion hotspot or a hotspot's continuous eruption of magma. Another important hotspot is Hawaiian hotspot. It is located in Pacific Ocean. We can see that a chain of mountains has been created by this Hawaiian hotspot. Over the years, these mountain chains which are created, they move in the direction of the plate movement. So in the history, if you will see, this region must have been over here. And by seeing this chain of mountains, we can see in which direction the plate has moved. Notes for all the topics that we discussed will be available on our website zeta-access.com. Thanks for watching the video and if you like the video, please like, subscribe and share. If you like our effort and like what we are doing, then you can use our UPI ID or Patreon ID to support us. You can follow us on our social media links. Until then, we meet again. Jai Bharat, Jai Gyan. Thank you.